Hey there, Lego fans, and welcome to another episode. Today, I am building this, the Parisian restaurant. Um, much to my joy and chagrin, I got myself completely enthralled with the modular sets after putting together the, the, um, the diner. So, I'd been on the hunt for the Parisian set for the Parisian restaurant for a while. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, a buddy of mine sent me a message saying, hey, this is available, do you want it? And I thought about it, ran some numbers and realized I could blow my entire month's pocket money on it. I shouldn't have, but I did. Uh, <laughs> so my lesson for you is, Make friends with as many AFOLs as possible because if you're looking for something there where you're looking for it and they come across it, they can contact you and let you know. So a huge thank you to Matthew. Thank you so much. This is huge. This is, man, this is so amazing. Um, he managed to source this all the way from Utah, clear across the country for me. And I just received it earlier this week and I am so excited to be building this. So, um, to all the AFOL friends out there, watch out for what your friends are looking for and um, help out wherever you can. Matthew, I cannot thank you enough. This is huge. So um, I wanna dig into this. I wanna see what's in here. Now, here's the thing. This came in a bigger box with um, the plastic balloon packaging the box seems to be in mint condition and it's also wrapped in cellophane um, or cling wrap if you're in Europe. So, I mean, it looks amazing. I can't quite tell if it's still sealed, but everything looks brand new. It sounds like it's still sealed. So let's open it. This is the first time I'm actually getting to open this. So let's see how new this is. And honestly, for the price I got it, even if this is not new, I'll still be happy with it because this is such an amazing purchase. And look at this. I love the packaging on this because this guy protected everything that came. Um, the box was well protected. It's in mint condition. Look at all that. And this goes into the recycle bin. Don't forget to recycle. And you know what? It's brand new and sealed in the box. <sighs> this is awesome. I am so stoked about this. 2,469 pieces and just amazing. And I got this just a little above cost, which is really cool. So don't mind him, that's lucky. He tends to be noisy. Um, now I almost don't wanna open it, but we have to. So my trusty pairing knife. So it looks like we have three booklets. Um, and guessing that there are the, the ground floor, the first floor, the second floor, which is also the roof. I mean, it, it makes sense. We'd have three booklets. Uh, so how many bags do we have?
Okay. So it looks like we have four number ones. One, two, three. Five number twos. Make that six number twos. Four number threes. And four. Number four. So about 16 bags. 16 bags. All right. Let's get started.
Chez Albert Parisian restaurant. This, okay, um, just a little under 2,500 pieces. This took six hours. Was it six hours? I started around 3.30 p.m. and finished around 10.30 p.m. So yeah, that's about seven hours of work. Um, needless to say, I made a mistake of deciding to just plow right through. Um, don't mind the dogs, they're annoying uh, sometimes. And plow right through and finish it up. Learned a harsh lesson there. That means it took all day, which means things that I needed to do, like, you know, spend Sunday with my wife. I didn't. So she wasn't too happy about that, understandably. And so for that, mea culpa. Um, but back to Lego. It's quite amazing that, I mean, the design and the intricate techniques that they used the first floor or the second floor if you're in the US is really simple, very sparse. Looks like a tiny little kitchen, you know, and a recliner in front of a fireplace. But look at the stairs in the back. This is quite amazing. I'm loving the detail. And then all of the Parisian restaurant, the beauty of the Parisian restaurant other than, you know, the beautiful ornate window treatment of the roof is all here in the first floor. The details on the first floor are amazing. Um, inside the restaurant, you know, check it floor, chef, waiter, and a couple having a dine out. Um, it's quite beautiful i love this i'm so glad i got this and i can't wait to light it up and sit it next to the um next to the diner i think it's going to look great and i will get a picture of that before you know and add it to this but look at this in the back right so you talk about paris you talk about a restaurant and somewhere there has to be cheese right so <laughs> The chef actually has cheese in the fridge, which is down in there. But there is also a garbage, big giant garbage can in the back. And there are cheese wedges in the garbage can. And then along with that, there's a tiny little mouse next to the garbage can. But this, is, this has been great. This is beautiful and can't say enough. Thank you so much, Matthew, for sourcing this for me. This has been an amazing build, a fun build. And um, so while it's been a fun build, lesson to take from all this is, you know, don't neglect family obligations for Lego because then Lego isn't fun anymore. Um, but one thing that really struck me is I got about 30 extra pieces and there were tiny little pieces. But what was interesting was that they actually kind of stiffed me on two one by twos and a two by four gray slate that needs to go there. And, um, you know, while all the pieces that make up the set are very important, I have them right now. So what's <laughs> kind of extra important to me is finding these. So I have to contact Lego and um, make sure that my set is complete. And if you're paying close attention, that's my entire synopsis of everything that's been going on in the US and around the world for the past week. All the pieces are important. But the pieces that are missing are what complete the set. And that's what this is all about. Those missing pieces is what we're looking for. So I hope, you know, through all the barking of Lucky, you uh, actually understood what I was saying. And um, 
again as always thank you so much for the support thank you for subscribing thank you for watching this comment on this if you have this please let me know what you think about it it's been a fun build it was a long build but it was a fun build and i'm glad it's over and it's late and i have to go to bed so again matthew thank you for this and um meg thank you so much for letting me play with lego <laughs> on our day off um and always you know just play well all right thanks <laughs> since you had to meet everyone i needed to make sure you met everyone you happy now You good? You happy too?